These small batch double chocolate chip cookies are so easy to make. This recipe that I'm going to show you makes eight cookies. And if you live alone or you just want a smaller batch than regular recipes call for, then this recipe is absolutely perfect. We will go through the steps together and I will also list all of the ingredients and the cooking or rather baking instruction below. And yes, this one sort of fell apart just slightly because I took it off of the pan a little bit too early and these are just taking time to cool. So let's get started. are the ingredients that I will be using. I have all-purpose flour. I use unbleached all-purpose flour and this is one cup or 125 grams and I will mention that I use a scale when I'm measuring my dry ingredients. You certainly don't need to use a scale. You can use a measuring cup of course but I will leave a link in the description below um, for a an affordable uh, scale. And I just find that it makes the um, ingredients uh, measurements more accurate. I have sugar. You can also use brown sugar, but I use cane sugar for all of my baking. And this is uh, three fourths of a cup or 150 grams. Um, we have baking powder. I will be using one teaspoon of that and uh, cocoa a quarter of a cup of cocoa or 20 grams, uh, one egg, I get my eggs from a local farm, vanilla extract, one teaspoon, and then uh, chocolate chips. Uh, these are semi-sweet and this is four ounces or three fourths of a cup. And then I have unsalted butter and uh, I use um, one fourth of a cup and I have already melted it. You can use salted butter as well and then not add any salt to your recipe. Oh, actually, I do need to grab my salt, but I'm using what I have. So I have unsalted butter, so I will be using um, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. So let's get started in uh, combining our ingredients. My oven is already preheating at 350 and I'm going to start with the butter and like I said I have already melted the quarter cup of butter. And to the butter I am going to add the sugar. going to whisk that together until combined. Just going to get my small whisk here. Vanilla extract and the egg. I use pure vanilla extract. I don't like the artificial. I find that it tastes quite artificial, so I always buy the pure. It is a little bit more expensive, but it is definitely worth it. I am then going to add my egg. And we'll whisk this until smooth. whisk. <laughs> Here we go. I'll be adding the flour. Cocoa powder. And the baking powder. and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And I'm just gonna fold these ingredients in together and just until they're barely combined. Mm -hmm. 
And before I mix it more, I'm going to add the chocolate chips. I mixed, uh, I folded the ingredients together um, just not so that everything was completely combined because uh, I knew that I would be folding it again when I added the chocolate chips. And as you can see now, I'm definitely getting the consistency of the batter that I want. I'm just gonna go in there and get the little bits kind of look in the middle and I actually think that that is perfect. Now I don't have a, uh, a cookie scooper. <laughs> um, I am thinking about buying one but I'm not sure if it's worth it. Um, I don't make cookies that often. I, I may purchase one but for now I am just going to roll these up in a ball and put them on the baking sheet. And I am aiming for two ounces and uh, yes I am going to measure them because I want my cookies to all be the same size. I just want to point out that I'm putting a little bit of butter on my fingers and that is really helping with the um, d uh, batter to not stick to my fingers as I'm rolling my, my cookie balls. Now I have six on here. I don't want them to stick together so I've spaced them pretty evenly out and I am just going to cook six at a time because my pan is not very big so I'm going to throw these in and then prepare the rest. These are going in an oven of 350 for 10 minutes. Look at these. Oh my, I felt as if 10 minutes wasn't enough so I did keep these in for an additional two minutes. I am going to scrape them off of the pan, put them aside, and put the last two in. Um, these ones are just actually a little bit over two ounces, I think 2.2. .2. So I'm just going to uh, finish these off. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more of my videos, please consider subscribing as it really helps my channel very much and is greatly appreciated. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.